One way to repurpose these unused discs is to create a CD mosaic. Find something you want to add a little creative touch to, and in my case, I want to add a little personal style to this old jewelry box. I'm gonna kind of cut out these small square and triangle shapes. Not all CDs cut the same way. Some get flaky, while others cut very well. There are several layers to the CD. You want to remove the clear plastic layer and use the metallic layer. I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and glue them together, kind of like a puzzle piece, I would say. And if you want, you can leave a big border or a small border, or you can even leave no border if you want. But I'm choosing to leave a big border in between. I don't recommend the glue gun as it gets lumpy. You should use liquid glue that spreads evenly. You can create this mosaic look on most surface, like pottery, wood, canvases, and many more. And if you are using a kind of jewelry box or something that opens, definitely don't glue CDs on the part that you would open. To complete this jewelry box, I apply a black dimensional fabric between the CD pieces. This helps to seal the rough edges. This paint is much thicker compared to the other paint. As you can see, I tried using a red metallic paint in between the mosaic pieces, but the paint was flat, so it didn't cover the, up the sharp shards. Instead of paint, you can use grout. Another way to reuse those CDs is to melt them into decorative bowls. I double up on the CDs so both sides will have the same iridescent look. I put it in my toaster over and 375 degrees for 15 minutes. This may differ depending on your oven. Not all CDs melt the same way at this same temperature. You need to lay them on a glass or something that can withstand heat. You will not be able to control the way these CDs melt. Once the CDs have melted into a bowl-like shape, turn off the oven, but leave it to cool down before touching it. I use these bolts to hold the jewelry or candle holder. Do not use these bowls for food. Since I have so much scraps left from my mosaic. I will make jewelry and charms out of these extra pieces. Double layer the pieces so that both sides will have the same iridescent look. Then I put it in the oven on 375 degrees over 15 minutes. Make sure that the oven is in a well-ventilated space. Once you see that the pieces are melting together, air bubbles or warping lines, then turn off the oven. But leave it to cool down before touching it. Drill a hole, put on earring hooks, or add a necklace. Every piece is unique. If you have music or movie CDs that you don't want the image, and you just want a clean CD, then I'm getting my scissors and I'm making a very tiny scratch on the side with the foil. Now take some tape, press it so it sticks onto the CD and pull it back very quickly to take off the foil. You can use duct tape or packaging tape, regular tape. It's okay if you use multiple pieces of tape. I use multiple pieces of tape. It will take like two minutes or so. I want to get rid of that blue stuff, so I'm taking some nail polish remover or acetone. I'm using the cotton ball to wipe it down 
two times and you really don't need the CD to be clear, but sometimes you just want to switch up. You can totally just paint over the foil and over the CD. Now that my CD is clear, I paint my background light blue. Here I am showing you my flower finger painting. I should have marked the lines first to make sure my petals are in line. So I'm doing it now. Now that the first layer of petals are fully dry, I'm going to go in with this light purple and I'm doing a second layer of petals. with the actual flower I cut a piece of an old CD and I'm I painted it brown I'm going to kind of make that the pollen area of the flower painting on UCDs is one way to recycle an unused product thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe bye